building and promoting the marketing activities and profile of boxing South Africa and boxing in general. While this is still a work in progress, we have started doing the work to put out uh, the brand, which is uh, a, a professional boxing, and also to make sure that we, 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 we drive our marketing towards our athlete um, and, and try and achieve what we have had uh, in the past years where the public knew who were our national champions, they knew where, where our uh, boxing activities were taking place. And that's the, this is the work that we, we continue doing. Just internally, Che, um, we are looking at uh, even getting um, a, a person that is going to uh, specifically look and, 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 and be responsible for the marketing uh, of professional boxing and also work with our stakeholders, um, such as your broadcasters, your sponsors, to ensure that we get the brand uh, of boxing out in the public. We are also tasked with developing and maintaining stakeholder relations to drive national development of the sport and uh, social cohesion. And this we do through, um, one, aligning ourselves with the requirements of the Act and, and the regulation, which is one of them, um, is, to, is to ensure that um, our athletes at a certain level are tested and uh, for, for, um, to prevent uh, uh, doping in the sport. And we have this relationship with the South African Institute for Drug Free Sport. We also have and build relationships with our broadcasters uh, to, to, to evaluate where we are in terms of getting uh, exposure for our uh, boxing, um, as we know currently. Uh, the visibility of boxing is very little, and it only um, uh, covers a few um, uh, 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 promoters. But what's also alarming is that uh, we almost do not have any boxing, especially live boxing, on a national uh, 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 broadcaster, which is obviously available to um, the majority of people in the country. Uh, currently, uh, we do have promoters that are able to uh, show uh, uh, tournaments and events um, on, on super sport. But the challenge is this, that we know that this, there's an issue of accessibility and therefore this is not a platform that is um, accessible for a uh, majority of people in the country. One of our relationships uh, that we are working on and, uh, uh, and, and, and this seems to be uh, at, uh, at a smooth uh, and, and developing uh, stage is our relationship with open boxing that is uh, Sanabo. Um, there has been um, engagement with Sanabo to align their activities to, to ours and see how we then, uh, you know, take advantage of the development of boxing in the country and the transition to professional uh, boxing. At this point in time, Chair, um, one of the developments and uh, the engagements that we are having is to actually uh, assist uh, Sanabo even housing them uh, uh, at our premises so that we can also assist them in, in order to comply and also to drive their programs. And um, as uh, uh, we wrap up the year, we are working on a memorandum of understanding so that we are all aligned in terms of what we need to uh, deliver. Um, and also uh, because we uh, host what we call the sparring, which is the, the graduation of amateur boxing into professional boxing. How do you synchronize that so that there is no gap between uh, the two uh, entities? My next um, slide, Chair, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that the members are, are able to see um, now because I'm, I'm able to scroll through, so I'm not sure what is happening, but I'm on the slide chair that talks of a provincial management. Excuse um, me, uh, sorry, sorry, Cindy, it's not yet, it's, it's not yet uh, rolling. I think uh, uh, if you can uh, get it off and put it back again and see if it, uh, it will respond. Okay, let me try that chair. Mr. Goma? Um, I'm just projecting now. Okay. Mm. 
Mr. Gombo, can I? Okay. Okay, I'll try this again. Yes, it looks like okay. it is. Okay. Yeah, scroll it down, scroll it down, up and down. Let's see if it's working. Yeah, no, okay. All okay. right. Thank you and apologies for that. Um, on this slide, we're just showing our our current population um, as at uh, the 1st of uh, March um, in, in various uh, provinces. I must uh, just indicate that uh, the number total seven of, of 736, those are the licenses that uh, uh, have been approved. The number is significantly low from the previous uh, um, uh, population that we've heard. And uh, this is purely because of the impact of, uh, of uh, uh, the lockdown and COVID-19. Uh, most of our licensees, um, you know, license with the hope that they will participate. And obviously, because of, uh, of uh, uh, being in, in, this, in a contact sport, most of uh, our licenses have been reluctant to take up their licenses. Uh, and also given the time of uh, the year, because um, they're not sure whether they are going to be able to participate in the sport. And uh, and also given that just that uh, over the uh, festive season, we normally don't have as much uh, uh, activities as we would have uh, earlier in the year. Um, in terms of our representation, whilst we don't have uh, provincial offices, we have provincial representation, um, and those are the names that are reflected under each um, uh, uh, province. Currently, uh, we still have Northwest and, and Northern Cape, uh, which are still uh, vacant. However, we do service um, those uh, 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 provinces through uh, the Gauteng uh, Provincial Manager and also directly from, from, the, from the office. Um, Chair, the next slide is just uh, a breakdown now on this number of 756 and across um, all, cat uh, all categories. You will always have uh, boxes um, taking up the, the biggest number. And uh, over the past few, few years, we've seen an increase in, in, in managers as well as uh, the ring officials that are starting to take up license. And this is both uh, for males and females. I must uh, just point out, Chair, on the trainers, um, we now have one trainer. This is normally a category that is, uh, is mostly uh, licensed uh, by males. And uh, it is encouraging to see that uh, there are females now that are getting into that space and directly um, having boxers that uh, they, they manage and also train on a, on a regular basis. Just to point out, Chair, on the, um, on the seconds, uh, that number four is also made out of our youngest uh, second. She took up a license as a second at 18 years old, and uh, she has been shadowing uh, experienced uh, trainers and managers in the sport. And she is currently doing uh, uh, very well. You will find her almost uh, in, 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 in most tournaments uh, looking after uh, boxers, and uh, she doesn't take a role of a passive role. She's very active. You will you will hear her shouting um, commands, and um, and this is a talent uh, chair that I think uh, we as Boxing SA uh, will nurture. And uh, and obviously this is an exemplary um, a move in that uh, most of the time when uh, licenses come into the sport, they normally uh, don't ever take um, any role that is uh, in, in the ring. And uh, this seems to have started shifting and, and moving towards a positive uh, side. Normally, each and every year, we license about 100 females. And uh, that drop currently of 71 is just um, associated uh, with the, with the uh, situation that the country finds itself in. Um, and that is a further breakdown, Chair. Now, per province. Um, what, what, how many boxes are in each province. Um, when you just look at our boxes, uh, you will always find that uh, Gauteng province leads with the number of boxes that it licensed. And this is just because most, uh, in the past at least three years, we've seen an increase in the number of tournaments that are being hosted in Gauteng. You also see um, your, 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 your most active 
um, and probably chair uh, recognize trainers being registered in 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 in, in Gauteng. And I think, uh, you know, just going by with uh, the location, people think um, and view Gauteng as where there's most opportunities. But I can say, Chair, that um, uh, probably the decrease in the Eastern Cape, uh, that number of 82, is also just tied in with uh, the COVID-19 impact, because you would always find that Gauteng and Eastern Cape always compete um, uh, uh, with the numbers. And you will then find KZN and uh, Western Cape uh, normally coming in close. This is also aligned with the activities where you find Gauteng first, uh, Eastern Cape closely on the second position, then uh, KZN and, and, and Western Cape uh, uh, in there. Um, yeah. So that is just a breakdown uh, per province and uh, per um, uh, uh, category. Um, on this slide, uh, we're just highlighting the performance in terms of tournaments uh, hosted uh, per year. Um, closing off the 2019-2020 financial year, well, the number 59 is also uh, there because some tournaments which were to be hosted just in the last uh, two weeks of uh, uh, before the close down were cancelled. Um, because of the pending lockdown, and, and, and obviously we then went into a, a, a full lockdown uh, at the end of, of March. However, you also can't uh, ignore that uh, whilst we had a lockdown, uh, sorry, um, just the uh, uh, stopping of activities about two weeks before the financial year end, that number would have still been low considering the 79, 78, and 75. And this chair is um, aligned to a number of uh, 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 reasons. One in that most of the promoters, because BSA has strengthened um, and, and, and enforced implementation of good governance um, and consistency and in aligning with the Boxing Act and the regulations, um, they've uh, uh, found it a little bit hard to, to, to stay in the, in the, in, in the uh, sport of boxing. And uh, we did this because we needed to also ensure that there is protection of boxers. For instance, one of the of the requirements that we've made um, as, a, as, as a prerequisite for hosting a tournament is the payment of a 10% deposit. So that should a, a tournament be cancelled for whatever reason, a boxer is able to get at least a compensation for, 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 for all the trouble that they've went through in terms of preparation for the tournament. Uh, we've also implemented, in line with the regulation, a sanctioning fee um, which is payable at the time of, uh, of uh, uh, applying for a tournament so that we don't have chair uh, promoters who would just put in a tournament just to block off a date and uh, it never materializes. Um, one of the uh, uh, also um, uh, stringent uh, measures that we've, we've put is to ensure that um, purses for boxers are paid latest 14 days before the tournament. This has, um, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a good way, uh, removed chair any other promoter that doesn't take um, you know, the sport of boxing uh, uh, seriously. And uh, uh, it's encouraging now that uh, uh, in the past three years, we have not had any tournament that has been staged without the payment of person. For each cancelled tournament, we have been able to pay the 10% to boxers. And we have worked with promoters to ensure that where possible, tournaments are rescheduled uh, so that we also balance um, the, the, the responsibility to protect boxers with also the responsibility to ensure that there is activity. And that is, um, that is why, Chair, that has been um, uh, that drop in, in the numbers. So on this slide, I just want to give uh, a, brief, a brief background on what uh, uh, is informed, what informs our, our annual performance plan and uh, also uh, our strategic plan. Back in 2013, um, there was a national boxing in Daba that was held, uh, which was an approach uh, 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 to plan for the transformation um, of the delivery of boxing in, in South Africa. And uh, in this uh, in Daba, there were a number of issues that were raised, which I, I put there on uh, as a summary. 
um, on the screen, which is skills development and education for licensees. Uh, women in boxing, uh, 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 seeking uh, uh, attention to this and finding ways on how we develop women that are in boxing, not only as boxers, but across all other categories. Stakeholder relations and partnership, uh, marketing, broadcasting, and sponsorship. And this talk to mainly uh, how do we get, how uh, uh, boxing uh, could return to um, uh, 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 our TVs at home and how do we bring back those yesteryears uh, uh, memories um, and how do we make sure that our, our, our licenses, specifically our boxes and our promoters, are known um, by the public and how do we then ensure that we celebrate uh, uh, this national champion and, and, and world champions. The National Indaba also focused on amateur boxing and, and professional boxing and in there, the synergy between the two organizations and how best they can uh, uh, separately um, exist and, and, and operate, but also build towards one goal, which is to produce um, uh, uh, champions that would represent the country uh, internationally as well. And uh, the, the last part was on, on governance, and this spoke to uh, Boxing South Africa. And one of the issues that was raised there is the, 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 the implementation of the regulatory framework, which is the act and the regulations and all the other uh, policies and rules that uh, are, are developed and how this is implemented consistently and fairly across um, uh, all, all licensees. Uh, in this Sindaba chair, um, there were resolutions for each that were, were made and these resolutions then formed uh, part of the work that uh, is done by uh, BSA and part of uh, are the things that we as an organization needs to be uh, measured against to say, where are we in terms of implementing those resolutions and where there are challenges, uh, for instance, any, uh, any resolutions that are third party related, how, you know, how do we then overcome that and how do we go around that to ensure that uh, those resolutions are then implemented. The key success areas uh, from these is resolutions chair have been on, on governance and administration in that uh, BSA um, is continuously um, ensuring that uh, we implement and, 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 and educate our licenses uh, on, the, on the governance of, uh, of BSA. And that we do to ensure that the image um, of the, 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 the organization improves. And, uh, and, and we make sure that uh, each and every one of our licenses and our stakeholders understand exactly where we come from when we make uh, certain decisions. Um, also effectively and e uh, efficiently administering professional boxing in the Republic to the benefit of all stakeholders in boxing. As we continue having engagements with uh, 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 third parties and other stakeholders, um, it is important that they are assured of our efficiency as, a, as, as in, in our operations and also in administ administering um, of the sport because this is the measure that stakeholders uh, actually put in place in making decisions on, on either giving assistance or, or, or partnering. And this has been evident uh, in the discussions that uh, we continue having with the national broadcaster, with Supersport and with other um, uh, media uh, uh, platforms um, because we also understand that as a business, they also want to ensure that there's return of value. They also want to ensure that they're investing in an organization that is run, uh, is run efficiently and, um, and, 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 and transparently and an organization that they can trust with their business as well. Uh, we've managed to standardize and enforce the rules and regulations consistently across the board, as I've mentioned. Um, we are continuing to support the establishment um, of uh, various association, boxers, promoters officially, Whilst this chair is still uh, lagging, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm encouraged in that there are associations that uh, currently exist. Uh, for instance, in the Eastern Cape, you have the Eastern Cape Promoters Association, as well as the ring officials. Same in Gauteng, um, the boxes uh, in, in Eastern Cape uh, formed an, an association, but we would like to have this formalized throughout the provinces. As I speak to you, Chair, currently, um, in the building uh, of BSA, we have an association that is holding their AGM 
And uh, this is the work that uh, uh, we do and uh, we give them uh, a support as they form uh, because it also makes it easier for BSA to engage uh, a certain category because you would then go to an association. We have worked on the development of the BSA digital systems for uh, efficient operations. Um, over the years, BSA has been very uh, water, uh, um, uh, uh, paper driven. Um, and this is a risk that we have identified in that we don't have our own uh, data uh, system that we can always refer to in years to come and we are third party dependent. The work that we started to do this year is to ensure that there is a digital system that also makes it easier for our licensees and our other stakeholders to, um, to, to, to engage with BSA. And we are starting this with the licensing where all our licensing currently is being done on, online. But having said that, Chair, we do continue to give support to those that may not be affluent with the digital system. And uh, we even do visit um, uh, 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 provinces uh, under uh, level one, obviously with uh, precautions in place, just to ensure that we give as much assistance as possible. And we will build on that. What we would ideally like to see is in the future where we have a system that has an archive of all the uh, uh, boxers that have participated and represented uh, 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 boxing in the country. Currently, the platform that we refer to is BoxRec, and unfortunately, this platform is not owned uh, uh, by uh, uh, Boxing South Africa. Um, we've improved on our communication and the healthy working relationship with boxing, stake boxing stakeholders as well as licensees. As this was one of the, of the um, challenges that was identified in that INDABA resolution in that uh, there doesn't seem to be a clear communication uh, uh, stream and uh, you, you licenses find themselves having to, to, to scramble for, for in, uh, information. We've looked into how best we can, we can improve on this. One, uh, what we've done is we've improved on our, uh, our website uh, content so that and at any time when a licensee or any other stakeholder requires information, they don't have to wait for a BSA office to open. They can just go onto the website and find information. And what we've made sure is that our core mandates are covered in that. And from time to time, we then share. What we also do is each and every um, uh, uh, post um, a board meeting, we put together communication so that our licensees are, are in line with any changes that are made, any improvement, and basically just um, uh, update on the developments uh, uh, internally and also externally. Um, we also, uh, <laughs> relationships with other stakeholders, um, creating an active role in, in, in professional boxing. I've already uh, uh, just touched on this earlier on, uh, the relationship that we've had with SAIDS. This is, this is informed by um, a case that we, we, we had, um, I think it was back in 2017, when one of our athletes had tested positive for a banned um, a, a substance. Um, in engaging with this, uh, uh, with the athlete and, and, and the management team, uh, it came out that at least in the past uh, uh, five years before then, there had not been any program uh, that talks to our licenses on anti-doping. We immediately um, uh, partnered uh, with uh, SAIDS and on an annual basis, we go through provinces and we have a workshop on anti-doping um, and, and just make sure that uh, all our licenses and just not just the boxes are invited and uh, this we continue to do. I'm also pleased to say that uh, SAIDS uh, on, a, on a regular basis does come out to tournaments to ensure that uh, we, we have a clean sport. And this is a relationship that we will um, continue to, to maintain and uh, to build on. Um, Chair, there's been an interest, uh, uh, an, an increased one in the national uh, uh, title and a desire to be a national uh, 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 champion. Uh, back in 2017, we had a lot of um, um, uh, divisions that either did not have any champion or those champions had not been um, uh, had not defended the titles at all. We then put in work to ensure that uh, we, we 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 put in activity. We prioritize uh, uh, the 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 title, and I'm glad uh, here, Chair, to say that this has also been our, one of our success areas. In that, we currently only have one division 
that is uh, 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 sorry two divisions that are currently uh, vacant um, and and uh, they are currently vacant just because chair we've we've had a break. I know that in the next uh, before the financial year end uh, we will have uh, uh, um, a champion or at least a challenge uh, that is is put through. And uh, we've done this because we've also ensured that our ratings are consistent, they are understandable, and uh, we are transparent in how we then create these ratings. And there's a, a ratings committee that oversees uh, this work. And where, whenever there are questions or disputes, uh, these are attended to. Um, and and uh, this seems to, to, to uh, work. We, we have, um, in line with this, also produced um, new uh, national belts, uh, which are an improvement, um, and, and also just seeks to bring in pride in, in, in a national champion. We are currently looking at uh, other challenges, Che, that are tied to this. For instance, the issue of um, champions not owning their belts. This, this is being attended to, and, and, and I'm hoping, Che, that uh, with the information that we will put out there and, uh, to, and seek to, to rectify this, in the next uh, financial year, we will have even a, a better news on how we are addressing this. We're going into our pri priority interventions um, in, in, with the five-year strategic plan, obviously being informed by the national INDA about what we have achieved and the areas that we, um, we are still seeking to um, uh, 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 look into. We, are, we would want to align the organizational structure with the strategic plan to maximize efficiencies. Currently, we, our, we, we have um, 10 full uh, 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 staff members uh, with one intern. And uh, this poses a challenge, Chair, in that one, just on, on communication. We don't have, for instance, a dedicated person that looks into uh, the organizational com communication and marketing. And these are, are some of the areas that we would want to look into. Uh, we would also want to look into uh, areas such as uh, uh, supply chain management and internal audit, and as these are still um, not uh, in, 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 our, in, our, uh, in our structure. And in order for us to, to, um, you know, to be able to deliver on our strategic, strategic plan, as well as our annual performance plan, we need to make sure that we have the right expertise uh, that assist uh, in driving all our, our uh, objectives. Uh, we will be looking at uh, further strengthening our internal system for enhanced operations and data management, as mentioned. I uh, want to also develop a memorandum of understanding between BSA and Sanabu that will drive the synced efforts to develop uh, boxing from amateur to professional level. Chair, and this one, um, as much as we are a professional a regulator of uh, professional boxing, we cannot ignore the, the, the role that Sanabu plays, especially feeding into professional boxing. And the question is that how do we then make sure that these are aligned so that we don't operate as two entities that are not in the same spot of, of boxing. And as mentioned previously, Chair, uh, we are having engagement uh, with Sanabu, with the interim structure at, uh, at Sanabu. And um, I think by even the next uh, uh, financial year, we would be reporting that, uh, you know, there they are uh, agreements in place and uh, they will be um, uh, 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 in the building with us. We're also focusing on revenue generation. Um, and one of the initiatives uh, uh, really is how do we attract sponsorship? Currently, boxing does not have a headline sponsor. Uh, it's even worse, Chair, when you go to your individual uh, promoters in that um, the, 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 the affluent and uh, uh, promoters who uh, have expertise in certain, in, especially in, in the line of uh, sponsorship, will be the only ones that uh, will, will have this in place. But as an organization, how do we then, uh, one, try and, and, and create that uh, 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 platform where we eventually have a product that uh, attracts sponsorship, a sponsorship that will also uh, benefit not only BSA, but also eventually uh, down to, to our licenses, especially our boxers who make a living uh, purely on, on boxing. We are in continuous engagement with SABC, the Supersport and other media platform. And throughout our strategic plan, we will also always ensure that in our program, especially uh, program three, which talks of boxing promotion, is to make sure that we, 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 we have targets that talk 
to the promotion of, of boxing so that we once again have a product uh, that is of value and that is attractive, attractive to, um, to, to those uh, stakeholders. Education and skills development of boxers to sustain themselves post life in the, in the ring. This is a reality chain in that we wouldn't want to have stars uh, that we celebrate and in the next uh, uh, six years, um, they are unable to sustain themselves and they just become lost in, in our townships and uh, they do not have any, anything to do. Um, and therefore we are looking at where, where is it that we can get assistance to ensure that the, um, the, the um, programs that uh, boxers can take uh, advantage of, whether it's a certificate or it is uh, uh, skills that they can, uh, can learn, uh, practicals that they can advance. I think it would be important to, uh, for, the, for, for BSA to ensure that at least there is an opportunity for our licenses to take advantage of, of this. Uh, we will also uh, focus on the training of uh, boxing trainers and, uh, and, and ring officials as uh, our ring officials are, um, you know, our representation uh, when they are in the ring in that every decision that they make talks to an organization uh, of BSA and therefore any decision that they are made must be supported by, uh, by training um, and where there are still gaps we will, we will certainly do that. One of the things that we would want to uh, uh, make sure is that uh, there must be a, a plan um, that talks to a refresher course for all uh, our ring officials. If you take, uh, for instance, um, you know, in, uh, airlines, for their flight attendants, every two years they will have a refresher course. And this is something that uh, we think that uh, SBSA needs to be in place uh, for our officials to ensure that we have uh, 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 trained and skilled uh, ring officials. Sorry, Chair, just trying to get to. Chair, Pat B was talked to the uh, five-year strategic plan. Um, we, we have three programs that we've developed our five-year outcomes on. And uh, this is uh, program one, which is governance and administration. Program two, boxing development, and program three, uh, boxing promotion. And for each, we've uh, looked at the outcomes that uh, are, are key to the organization. Once again, chair, those are, are, are um, informed by the, the, the mandate that we have in the act, um, as well as the boxing in Daba of 2013, but as well as the current um, uh, uh, world that uh, we exist in, which is obviously influenced by international standards uh, in terms of, uh, of boxing. Just on, on, uh, on uh, governance and administration, we'd want to make sure that we continue on the work that is already done and where there are still gaps um, and being informed particularly on this by uh, the Auditor General and the audits that we continue to have is how do we improve on this? As uh, the chairperson uh, 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 has mentioned in, in his opening, that as much as we did receive uh, an unqualified audit, we need to set the bar a little bit higher and, and make sure that we address those areas so that our focus is on getting uh, a clean audit. And obviously this also took to improved administration capacity in that even internally our structure and our processes must be in support of what we want to achieve. On boxing development, uh, Chair, this is the engine of uh, Boxing South Africa and of professional of, of, of boxing. And we need then to make sure that um, this talks to delivery of tournaments, sanctioning ratings. And on this chair, we've uh, focused on training and development of, uh, of, our, of our licenses, um, making sure that our, our processes in, in terms of bringing in those uh, uh, boxing practitioners are efficient, they are easy. And that's why chair, we've introduced the digital system because it, it, it makes it easier for a licensee to license at any time and wherever uh, they are and conveniently so. Uh, we are looking at making sure that our ratings continue to be credible and be a source of, uh, of uh, 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 information in terms of a promoter who wants to put together uh, a, a, a tournament that they do not need to 
guess and second guess basically how the ratings are, um, are happening. Uh, Compliant uh, tournaments uh, uh, being sanctioned. This talks to a 360 uh, uh, degree chair in terms of how we, 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 we sanction tournaments. From the time that a promoter uh, submits um, a tournament, is it aligned to the regulations? Is it aligned to the Boxing Act? Um, then the components that uh, come in, into, into for instance, uh, the tournament bill. Is the tournament bill uh, uh, um, one that can be sanctioned? Looking into various uh, uh, issues such as um, uh, uh, um, match matchmaking, uh, the the safety of boxes. So that target will look holistically, not just the output, which would be the number of tournaments that are, are, are sanctioned, but making sure that those tournaments are of quality and those are not the tournaments chair that you would wake up on a Monday um, and then find a negative uh, press coverage. Uh, we're also looking right. at healthy and, and, uh, and safety, improve healthy and safety measures. Um, a boxer that is in the ring and to a large yeah. extent, anybody that is in, in the tournament, um, you know, it is a responsibility to a certain degree for BSA, although obviously uh, uh, this is a tournament that is uh, hosted by, um, by, 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 by a promoter. And in here, Chair, what we look into is how do we then assist the, the promoter in delivering a tournament? What is our responsibility and how do we stretch ourselves to make sure that we also create a safe um, uh, uh, environment for this tournament? Internally, Chair, we have um, a, a medical uh, committee uh, that is headed uh, uh, by, by Dr. Slepe with the support of various uh, 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 medical practitioners in various uh, provinces with, uh, with uh, uh, um, expertise, especially in injuries that uh, affect the boxers. And we then continue to build on, 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 on this uh, uh, medical uh, uh, committee and to ensure that in the end, we then produce rules, um, uh, you know, rules of engagement, a framework that uh, will assist uh, Boxing uh, South Africa to ensure that we remain compliant with the, also the world standard and, and with the requirements of various health institutions. Um, the amendment uh, and updated boxing regulation, this chair comes from the 2013 in, in Baba, and uh, uh, it, unfortunately up to, uh, to date, the work had not been, been con uh, concluded. We have started this process, one internally just as licenses, but we are in, 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 in touch with the uh, department uh, as legal function to assist us in how do we then uh, uh, manage this and produce a, a document. There has been uh, um, an uptake and uh, we have received inputs in, 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 into this. And Che, just to highlight uh, without going too much into details, uh, just four key issues that, uh, um, you know, licenses talk about, which talk to us aligning to international standard. One is the issue where, um, you know, licensees cannot hold a, a dual uh, license. We know that uh, internationally, uh, some of the successful boxers also hold uh, a, a promotion license. And we're looking into, uh, uh, would that be a feasible um, approach? in terms of uh, uh, boxing in, in South Africa, and there seems to be a need for that. The second one, Chair, is the issue of a three-fight rule where um, a boxer needs to have fought his last three consecutive fights in the same weight division um, that for which he's challenging on. Given the number of activities uh, uh, we currently are seeing in the country, this seems to hold um, you know, the, 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 the pursuit one to the national title and also uh, just the, the, the interest in actually uh, moving to weight divisions because we know that uh, a boxer will not necessarily stay in the same weight division uh, uh, for long. As, as, they, as they grow, they obviously change uh, uh, divisions. And if, if this is not attended to and uh, it, it will, one, stifle uh, 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 boxing in terms of its uh, 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 development in the country. And also, uh, it is just, it, it, it doesn't uh, um, motivate boxers to actually try and challenge uh, in other weight division and create more activity. By the end of this financial year, um, we are confident that we will have a draft document uh, that talks to all of, all of uh, 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 these uh, proposed amendments. On boxing promotion, 
Uh, Chair has mentioned we need to up our, our marketing and communication, and we are looking into a strategy and, and, and we'll be implementing some of the initiatives that we've already identified there. Um, implementation of boxing uh, uh, flagship programs, this would be your women in boxing. Um, how do we strengthen that? How do we make sure that it is not just a program that is delivered on a month of women, but how do we promote uh, 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 women participation throughout the financial year? And not just in the ring chair, but also just making sure that there are other interventions that we put in place so that the sport is seen as a career, as something that uh, our, our, our women can get into on a longer term. And also chair the implementation of revenue generation uh, strategy initiatives. I have already alluded in, into the issues of sponsorship, we need to look on how, you know, taking advantage of uh, uh, various partnership um, opportunities and how do we supplement the budget base of Boxing South Africa by being creative and, in, and, and using uh, a brand value of uh, uh, boxing and especially Boxing South Africa to ensure that uh, we capacitate the organization in terms of uh, a revenue generation. Whilst we have all these plans here, we cannot ignore that there will be risks that would seek or would, if not paid attention to, would make us not realize our goals. And for each uh, area, we've just identified about three uh, key risks uh, in governance and administration being mainly non-compliance to legislation guidelines and also uh, the recommendation that would be made uh, by, by, by the Auditor uh, uh, General, because these are obviously taken from, from evaluating how we, 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 we process um, our daily activities. Um, one other risk is inadequate internal capacity and the lack of training and development uh, for staff. And this is something that we, we would need to then uh, develop and, in, and implement operational procedures and policies to address each one. But when it comes to, to compliance, to, just to uh, understand Chair, that these are non-negotiable um, and these have to uh, 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 followed to the T, obviously being supported uh, uh, by, by the board. Uh, on boxing development, the breakdown of stakeholder relationships, uh, Chair, would, would, would undo the work that we've we've done, um, at least in the in in in, in the past. Sorry, uh, Ms. Kumalo. Ms. Kumalo, can you summarize? Uh, I'm suspecting those who were asking to be excused uh, would love that you can summarize in order that they must be part of your presentation until the end. Fortunately, you did um, with the. Chairperson, uh, forwarded the presentation in time. Can you try to summarize? No problem. Uh, I'll, I will also, I will also uh, want to notify that uh, the minister wanted uh, to have a, a, a chat with with uh, the committee and your good self, but also he has got another commitment he has got an hour with us if you don't mind thank you not at all chair not at all chair I'll, I'll i'll certainly do that chair okay. uh, just to con just to conclude on 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 the uh, key risk those are, are the areas that we would look into and uh, fortunately chair these are some of the areas that we are already working on and uh, we will just make sure that uh, uh, in the next financial year as well we continue uh, addressing the areas uh, where we are seeing gaps. Um, Chair, I think most of, of uh, what is in the APP I've already addressed in my uh, 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 previous uh, uh, slides. And uh, just to confirm that, Chair, we are still keeping the three budget uh, areas um, as, as seen on, on, on the screen, um, which talk to governance how we then develop boxing and how we then make sure that we put out uh, the, the, the work that is being done. And then obviously uh, the talent that uh, is in, in, in boxing through the boxing promotion. Um, Chair, on the, on the annual performance plan, we've had to make amendments uh, given uh, the reality that uh, most of these will not be able to achieve given the, and the lockdown. 
Um, and we've only amended chair mainly on, 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 on boxing development because this is a program that talks to directly delivering of, uh, of tournaments. And where, we've see, where, where we are going to be seeing a, a major a shift is just the number of tournaments sanctioned. As a contact sport, we are coming in uh, as the last really to, to, to get back into, into action. Um, and we've had to revise that. Uh, fortunately, Chair, uh, there the, the, the are already tournaments that we are hosting. Whilst we're not going to be able to even come close to that number of 60, which anyway we've revised, uh, it doesn't look, Chair, that uh, we, we will even uh, get to uh, uh, 10 uh, tournaments. However, if there's an opportunity to do that because it talks to boxers getting into the ring, we will sub definitely uh, uh, support um, that. Uh, Chair, the, 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 the revising of our targets is also linked to uh, revision of the budget and uh, the slides later on we'll, we'll talk uh, into. Um, fortunately, I've also touched on the key focus uh, areas um, going forward, which is the work that we've already doing on, on amendments of regulation, system improvement, um, uh, the COVID-19 impact, which some of the work we've already as, uh, uh, done, uh, mainly the, the, the assisting uh, the national and provincial uh, departments in the allocation of uh, the relief fund. Um, we are also in, in, in talks, Chair, uh, to have a boxing conven uh, convention just to also uh, uh, draft our, 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 our strategy um, and things to, to pay attention to going forward as we know that the landscape of sport uh, continues to change uh, uh, rapidly. Um, also, Chair, uh, uh, the women in boxing is, an, is, a, is, a, is another um, key focus area. We've had engagement uh, with the minister on this, and we've made a proposal on, 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 on and a request, Chair, on uh, where the minister could, would be of assistance uh, to us. But we'll continue, obviously, working uh, on, on the women in boxing. Um, where we are, Chair, uh, with the with the box uh, with the with the boxing in in the country, like any other sport uh, and, and industry, we have been uh, greatly impacted. Um, having uh, no tournaments up to now in in in, in October and to date, uh, it's uh, two tournaments with one that will be staged later this evening. So there has been a huge financial impact on our licenses, especially our our boxers. Yes, we do acknowledge that they have. Uh, some of these boxes have received, um, you know, relief in terms of the uh, a relief fund, um, and 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 where possible, chair, we have made uh, some assistance, especially with our gym uh, owners, uh, where our boxes train by supplying them with some of the PPE uh, equipment just to cushion, uh, uh, you know, the financial in, in impact. Also, chair, we've had to uh, prioritize uh, the budget um, to make sure that we uh, prioritize it for other areas where we could be of assistance. And in this regard, we have partnered with Empath Laboratories for the testing of boxers um, when they engage in a tournament, which is uh, covered uh, by uh, Boxing uh, South Africa. Um, Chair, the next slide is just a continuation, also uh, just touching on what we, we, we have done, um, submitting the operational plan, which is what uh, we are working on now in the delivery of uh, of uh, a tournament, and that uh, that slide chair just talks to uh, more of what uh, BSA has uh, has done to 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 ensure that one we are aligned with the requirements of uh, COVID nineteen, but also how do we then assist the industry, especially uh, uh, the sport of boxing, to 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 cushion the impact uh, of, uh, of, uh, of 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 COVID nineteen. Chair, if um, here, um, I'm just going to uh, um, attach uh, an overview and uh, further information can, can be uh, uh, given uh, on specifics uh, by the, 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 the CFO. Uh, this is our budget um, allocation uh, of 21,000. Um, and Chair, uh, we, we've had obviously um, a, a, a cut uh, in this, um, and that budget uh, may, may be slightly uh, uh, lower. Um, and, 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 and this has a great impact, Chair, because any allocation that we had uh, was coming in specifically into the areas that uh, uh, we were already struggling with. 
and uh, we are trying by all means just to ensure that the level that we have uh, is 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 channeled uh, correctly, and, uh, and 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 benefits not only us but also our licensee. Uh, Chair, that is the outlook of our revenue uh, budget, and uh, and how uh, boxing uh, South Africa um, you know generates its its uh, uh, revenue, and this is obviously in line with uh, with the with the uh, boxing act, um, and on the on the next um, uh, uh, slide. It just talks of the annual uh, budget allocation. I'm also not going to uh, uh, go through that chair because those are just the split um, of 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 the of the numbers. And uh, on the next uh, slide, we then highlight the impact of uh, the APP changes to to the uh, revenue uh, budget and uh, the budget that I've already uh, 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 highlighted, chair where we are now, which is uh, 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 revised to um, that figure chair at the, right at the bottom there. Um, and then uh, just the impact now of the APP changes to the expenditure uh, budget. And we've basically just made um, a categorization for, for each part and, uh, and the, the reductions that talk to that. Chair, that is the end of uh, my um, uh, presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Cindy Kumalo. It's Cindy Kumalo. Oh, Cindy Kumalo. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Um, uh, the Honorable the Minister. Comrade Minister. Thank you, Chair, and, uh, uh, and thanks to uh, the honorable members. Uh, greetings. Uh, I take this opportunity to uh, say that uh, most of the areas which uh, the CEO has covered uh, were areas uh, I, I wanted to, uh, to highlight, Chair. Uh, just to say that uh, I've had engagements with the uh, box in South Africa uh, twice uh, to emphasize the point that uh, this is one very important sport uh, in South Africa, sport in code, which uh, we need to do everything uh, to get it back to its glory days of uh, the uh, 80s, the 70s, and so on. Uh, because we believe that uh, it can, especially uh, at this time, uh, play a key role in many aspects, aspect of discipline amongst young people, but also uh, when we get more uh, females uh, who are participating in the sport uh, with all the challenges we are faced with uh, in our country, including uh, GPVF, we, we, we really uh, encourage that uh, that happens. We also have noted that uh, over a period of time, uh, there's been turbulences uh, within a box in South Africa. Uh, but the, the last two terms, we have seen uh, the, 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 the stability uh, coming into play. And we want to maintain and keep that uh, so that uh, the sport itself uh, uh, thrives. Uh, there, is a, uh, there are issues which uh, uh, somewhat, somewhat has been touched uh, by the, uh, uh, the, the CEO, including the need to amend the regulations so that uh, they are in line uh, with the act itself. Uh, and the issue they emphasized uh, to us uh, that uh, we need to ensure that uh, uh, these amendments, uh, we, we try and, and, and push for their implementation uh, as soon as possible. Uh, from our side, we believe that uh, the, the increment uh, in terms of uh, allocation uh, and budget uh, of uh, boxing is going to assist uh, boxing to achieve 
uh, some of its uh, targets. Uh, obviously, uh, it will never be enough. But uh, we are resolved uh, that uh, we want to see like boxing as a boxing, uh, getting back to the center stage of sports in South Africa, ensuring that the women in boxing uh, are, uh, you know, uh, focused on uh, for their development and so on, and look at the initiatives uh, like that. So I think, Chair, all in all, including what uh, I think the Chair uh, touched on, uh, the Chairperson of Poland, South Africa, uh, that uh, they got this unqualified uh, report. Uh, that's that's good news, and I'm happy that uh, their aim also is to go to the level uh, of clean uh, audit as well. Uh, but those are the remarks, Chair, I wanted uh, to make. And uh, as I said, uh, most of the things have been covered uh, by the uh, uh, by the presentation. I think uh, it would be in the good interest for all of us. Uh, to do everything in our power to ensure that in our townships, in our communities, in our suburbs, in our villages, uh, we reproduce uh, the yesterday uh, heroes uh, like we had uh, in this country. Many of them, plenty of them. Uh, we, we, we can still, uh, you know, uh, get back to that. Uh, we, we need to be working with everybody uh, around the boxing. We decided uh, to open uh, the process uh, of uh, nomination uh, for the for the board. Uh, the process is on now uh, on uh, the 12th of October. Uh, uh, the, the nominations will be closed. Right now, uh, we've also appointed the nominations committee. Our aim is that the first week of December, we should be able to appoint uh, a new board. The second week, we should be able to induct the new Board of Boxing South Africa. Thank you very much, Chair, and thanks, Honorable Members. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Uh, uh, Honorable Faba. Thank you, Chairperson. Firstly, um, I know we got a new board coming up one of these days, but also want to congratulate Ms. Cindy Nkomo for as acting CEO and hope all the best to her. Um, Chairperson, then just with the COVID um, that we, the situation that we are in, I know we are on level one. I, I would like to know from the minister or if maybe Boxing SA can help us as well. Um, we know COVID is a dreadful disease that's hitting us. Um, I would just like to know the safety of our boxers um, in the ring competing against each other, um, the same with karate, I suppose, any contact sport. Is there specific uh, measures that's been taken by them to see to the safety of boxers? Um, and I will first stop there. I know my colleague and shadow minister also would like to ask questions. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Honorable Fafa. Honorable Mishongo. Thank you, Chair. Chair, I wanted to welcome the Minister firstly and foremost. You are welcome back, Minister. Uh, on a lighter note, you always come when we discuss soft issues, but nonetheless, you are welcome. Uh, we welcome even the presentation. There's this perception that boxing in South Africa is down but not out. I want to hear from the CEO, what is your view on that? And I wanted to find out the resignation of the CEO. What was the reason? Because of Green, uh, uh, what was the actual reason? Why did he resign? And one thing that I wanted to find out, the last time boxing South Africa was represented, uh, represented South Africa, it was 2016 in Olympic Games. What are we doing about it? And according to the information that I have, you know, I've been long in this committee. The, C, the acting CEO spoke that the, there's a relationship between themselves and Sonabo. Is that relationship stable? And when you say relationship, are you only engaging, but what is the outcome? Can you tell us more about the outcome? 
And I wanted to find out regarding the uh, unhappiness of uh, licensees. They'll be marching on the 4th of November. I wanted to find out, I saw your statement that you are distancing yourself, but did you engage with your licensees because they're going to march to SAPC on the 4th of March? And another issue that I wanted to find out, your engagement, because you talk of engagement with the sectors or with the stakeholders, what is the outcome of those engagement? Uh, uh, one thing that I wanted to ask above all, it's about the outgoing board members. Chairperson, I wanted to find out directly from you and other board members, what legacy are you leaving behind, especially within boxing arena in South Africa? Another question regarding the CO, you spoke about, you are aware that boxers have, re have received the relief fund. How many boxers are you aware of that have, re have received the relief fund? And then you spoke about PEE. That is my last question, Chair. The PEE, you've distributed how many PEE, where and at what cost? Thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you, Honorable Mflongo. I do have a few questions only. Um, of, um, I wanted to check with the question of Sanabo. Um, um, uh, uh, thank you also for the, the, the presentation. And um, there is a, a little bit of improvement. Uh, is worth been with you, uh, boxing South Africa. But uh, my main worry is that uh, we are telling us what we, we are having an interim structure of Sanabo. Uh, by this time, you are supposed to have a fully fledged structure of Sanabo, and and I'm looking also of the MOU uh, that. Uh, you have an understanding and develop an MOU. Uh, uh, to, to, to me, it's supposed to be over that. Uh, you're not supposed to be in that stage. You, you know the problems of uh, Isanabo. And uh, I'm also, I can even link with, uh, I'm, I'm happy about that at least now we have an exemplary uh, of the Eastern Cape where when we took um, an oversight that there were two uh, sides which they were fighting and the, the boxers uh, um, and Sanabo were suffering in between, but the intervention that Boxing South Africa has made in the department today uh, they are uh, an exemplary, but my main worry is about Sanapo issue. Uh, seemingly, uh, it's it, it's it's not moving. It's not moving. Uh, also, I wanted to check really about these licenses. Since I joined this committee, uh, I was thinking by this time uh, we'll be having. A, a better information about these licenses, but uh, I cannot say that you cannot achieve. As you have been achieving so many things, uh, you started to, to have no office sitting in the department's office. Uh, you were not renting, and then you were step charge of the department. But today I'm seeing at least a, a movement that you are getting there. But uh, I'm emphasizing on these other things that come the new board, it must look at these things, uh, Honorable Minister, that they are still lacking behind. I thank you. Chair? Excuse me, Madam Chair. Uh, the, 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 the board uh, uh, will, will respond to uh, some of the issues. Uh, after this, uh, I would uh, have to leave. Uh, I think uh, I must uh, comment the, the first question on, on COVID-19. Uh, that uh, 
we should always remember and remind ourselves uh, of this uh, pandemic. And uh, thanks to Honorable uh, Member Faber, that uh, even today, uh, we should know that uh, we are not uh, in a safe space uh, yet. Uh, so we should continue, as the chair has said, uh, to observe the health protocols uh, and be able to deal with whatever uh, uh, possibility and thought the possibility of the second wave, uh, because uh, in some communities there is a lot of relaxation. Coming to boxing, uh, 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 recall, honourable member, that uh, the National Institute of Communicable Diseases, uh, together with the, the Department of Health and ourselves. Uh, go through a, a vigorous process uh, to granting uh, permission uh, to go ahead for any sport, including combat sport, uh, like uh, boxing. So the measures and the, the, uh, the plan was so comprehensive uh, from boxing uh, to ensure that uh, we mitigate uh, any possibility of uh, uh, dangers uh, in so far as that is concerned. So. Uh, your, your concern, uh, uh, Honorable Member, is uh, well, uh, you know, uh, recognized, uh, but we, we, we never took chances, uh, particularly when it comes to, to this matter. Uh, to Honorable Member Plongo, uh, I think uh, uh, let me uh, apologize that uh, we, we, when we're not here, it's because uh, we are held up somewhere. Um, uh, and uh, when we're available, we'll definitely continue to avail ourselves. Uh, and uh, on a lighter note as well, make no mistake, there's nothing tough for me. Uh, so if you think uh, I can't because there's anything you perceive as a weak meat or whatever, boxing, if you know things, boxing will never be a, a weak thing, but uh, will be it will always be there. Uh, to tackle anything, uh, including your questions and your comments and whatever you have in your mind on another one. That's a uh, I like to know. Thank you so much. Fire Minister. <laughs> Honorable, thank you, Minister. Honorable Malomani. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Honorable Malomani. Honorable Malomani. Honorable Malomani. Oh, thank you, Chair. It seems I've got a challenge. I'm sorry, okay. my voice is not that much clear. Uh, okay. My the issue that I want to speak on about is the issue of the women participate participating in boxing. I think maybe the boxing South Africa need to make sure that it prioritizes clearly this thing of women, because if you can check the trainers, we've got only one woman, and it's a big concern to that as a woman. And also, the other thing that I want to speak about is the issue of infrastructure. The, I, I, we, we couldn't get a report on infrastructure of, in, in the boxing FA. What are the challenges in infrastructure? Because we can see that there are challenges in regarding the issues of infrastructure. The other thing that I want to speak about is that each and every time when they come and present, there is this thing of communication and marketing stra strategy that they are facing. The issue of the SABC, Super Sports, televising the boxing, boxing, is it boxing event or whatsoever. Can they tell us what have they done since now? And then what is the way forward so that maybe as they are still engaging with those media houses what is the what is the way forward is there anything that is happening so that maybe we can see boxing on television not at night because usually they televise it at night during the day it doesn't play the other issue that i want to check is the issue of sponsorship the other things i'm covered when it comes to the issue of sanabo and the issue of licenses thank you chair thank you honorable Madomani. Chairperson uh, uh, and your entourage. Uh, 
Uh, Chair, um, <coughs> let me let me take and then I'll just request. Let me, can, the, can I answer some of? I think. Uh, th thank you, thank you, uh, uh, Madam Chair and the uh, and and the committee. I think. Uh, let me just get this one out of the way in terms of uh, the resignation of the CEO. The, the CEO, our past CEO, Mr. Lijaga, got an opportunity at the Ministry of Transport. And um, apparently there was a deadline that was given if he's not taken, and it was for him a move up in terms of his career and things. So uh, as a board, we did, uh, had a, a, it took us by surprise, but it, there was no acrimony and things. And even now we still have a, a good communication with him. So he went for the better better option and better post and uh, we still he, he is still in communication with Bogus South Africa so that's the reason of his his uh, his his going out of uh, boxing South Africa but uh, it was for the better uh, uh, greener pastures if one has to has to has to has to put it um right on the Sanabo issue may I say for those who might not know the historic aspect of Sanabo the amateurs in the past used not to have a a relationship with the professionals because there were some rulings in AIBA, AIBA, which is an international uh, amateur body that's controlling amateur and also getting involved in the Olympics, was that amateurs should not be, there was a new rule that suddenly came out uh, some time uh, ago that amateurs should not get involved with uh, with professionals. So the in, in as much as us, as both in South Africa, we, we have in the, our act to say that we should react to that. But we've had several meetings, we've had several engagement with the with with, with, with Sanabo, the amateurs, and uh, but at no avail because they were not prepared to talk to us because of what Aiba was was saying to them. Now, in the uh, last uh, three three years or so, uh, uh, amateur boxing has changed. They now changed it into what they call uh, open boxing. And within open boxing, they also engaged amongst themselves the professional boxing that you've seen also in the Olympics. Now, after that change, the the, the, the amateur bodies are now uh, coming forward uh, and and are able now to to um, to engage with us on a positive without fearing that they'll be cut off from uh, from um, from uh, 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 participating in the Olympics. So that's why the the. The, the discussion and the reason for us as Bogus South Africa to even house them um, uh, is, is making more sense because they, they are a cradle for, uh, for, for professional boxing. Now, we are dealing with the interim structure because the, the issue of Sanabo is not us with the executive and the board uh, quitting, is not us uh, as Bogus South Africa who are responsible for it, is them who are supposed to sort them out. So, an interim committee was put up uh, uh, with, for, to run Sanabo. Now, we, we did not want to uh, uh, leave a vacuum. So we, are, we started engaging the very same um, interim committee so that even a new structure of Sanabo th that will be coming through, they'll find that the road has already been, been paved and everything is, is going ahead. So that, that, that's on its own uh, is something that um, we are, we, we, are, we, we are taking over. So the um, memorandum of understanding with Sanabo, we've had some before, as we say, but now now that they, they, are, they, are, they are willing now to engage professional boxing and they are willing for us to help them, and I think uh, we will be able to participate more. And, uh, and I think it will also address the issue of us getting involved in the discussion, in the, in the formation and the... And the and, and the and the selection of of boxers who are going into into um, for the Olympics because you must remember the boxers uh, who are very good in, in the amateurs and if they don't have good opportunities within the amateurs their their best avenue is to go into professionals so the understanding that we have is for us to not to allow them. So, sorry? Now, there's somebody who's just get in and, and not switching his or her mouth okay. is disturbing us. Sorry, yeah. so, so in that regard, we will be able to, to work as a team of boxing. Because when you look in the other, the USA, the, the, 
the Mexico and things like that. The amateurs and the professionals work together to produce a product either for the Olympics or for the for the for, for professional. So we are at that stage now where we are going to be working together as boxing in South Africa. So uh, not boxing South Africa, but boxing in South Africa, both amateurs and professionals, for us to be able to can to can produce a better quality and better uh, representation for the country. So I hope that um, th those those aspects are. Uh, 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 um, so, uh, 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 who are those people who are disturbing us? Madam Chair, it's uh, Mr. Hado. I think maybe he's having a connection challenges. It's oh, sorry Mr. about that. The board members, yes. He okay. must switch the, 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 the mic. The, 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 yeah. Okay, Chairperson, go on. No, uh, then I was saying... Um, uh, the safety of the boxers, I think the minister had touched on it. We, in the program that we set up uh, as a request to the ministry for us to, to allow boxing to, to, to go on, was that uh, firstly, in a, practical, in a sim simplistic manner, we have um, what we call a, a, a bubble where a, pro a promoter will come in and apply for a, for a tournament. We've already had two tournaments which have um, gone successfully, and uh, we, we're having the third one today successfully. What they do, they apply for the tournament, and the boxers who are in the bill are now tested 14 days before, and, and then later, uh, on, the, on, the, on the last week of the tournament, they are, they, they, they are tested, and when they are negative, they are housed in a bubble where none of them, be, they are tra themselves, their trainers, and everyone, none of them go out of the bubble until the tournament so that the only time they will go out of the of, of that bubble is when they are already after the tournament so the safety uh, uh, measures are kept in that in that in that situation uh, so that we uh, there's there's no transmission of the uh, of the virus when someone has already been tested including ourselves we our last tournament i had to test myself and go there before i, I could even meet the boxers and and, and missing government does the same thing even the office if they go there they, they get tested on a regular basis once negative then you can be allowed into the bubble and i hope that answers the safety the safety measure of the that 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 we take uh, in terms of uh, of uh, um, the uh, uh, boxing. Now, when the the the, the, the ch uh, uh, Madam Chair raised an issue of uh, of uh, the uh, the housing of boxing South Africa, boxing South Africa, as you say, we've improved from being housed at the Department of Sports and so on to this point where we are actually renting on our own. And we were disturbed now by COVID and, uh, pandemic. Way back in January, we were already on the lookout for a premises where we are going to be buying it as Boxing South Africa to uh, uh, to house Boxing South Africa, the museum, and all the paraphernalia of boxing. And now we're still going to uh, proceed with that, where Boxing South Africa will have its own home and not renting. We will have to buy our own uh, 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 because with the money with that, we have probably been paying um, uh, for renting. We could be paying a bond on it. Now, that's an issue that we have to discuss with the SBA. We have, we have to discuss with the Minister uh, of Sport and who will, uh, will be guiding us on it. But that's the, the idea that we, we must stop renting as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a sport and have our own home. And that, that will also give an opportunity for for even uh, Sanabo, the, pro, the amateurs, to have a home there so that boxing, the whole boxing in South Africa can be housed under one roof. That's one thing. Now, uh, 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 Honorable Malumani, I was not sure of what was meant by the infra infrastructure challenges. Uh, uh, I'm not sure whether he's talking about the same about housing. The only challenges we have is the issue of housing our provincial structures. Now, historically, the, the, the Boxing South Africa Act was supposed to, to, to address both uh, the professional uh, and the, uh, no, the, the national and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the provincial manner. But for whatever reason, 
only the Boxing South Africa Act is only addressing the national activity. So we had to make a, a, a plan to have what you call a, a, a BSA representatives in the different provinces. Now, one of the requests that, that we, 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 we could, uh, probably will have is where uh, the ministry will have to help us with the uh, min, in, during MinMEG to, uh, for us, the, 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 the different uh, um, MECs to be able to accommodate the provinces. That will be an ideal, ideal situation where in the provinces we can have uh, the, 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 the provincial uh, um, service providers being housed. But that's something that's still under discussion and, and we'll, we'll, but that will be an inf infrastructure problem. But when you talk about infrastructure of, of activities like the uh, stadiums and things like that, those are the issues that are outside our jurisdiction. And the gymnasiums and all these things are outside our jurisdictions as Boxing South Africa. But we do assist where it's necessary on that. But in terms of the, our mandate, we don't have a mandate to set up any infrastructures for, of, of boxing, of, of boxing in the different uh, localities and things like that. But when called upon, we will be able to, uh, to, 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 to get involved in that. Now, I'm going to ask um, um, Cindy to take over some of the, um, of, of, the, of the issues on the matching of the SABC and stakeholders and the PPEs. And also, uh, the, we'll talk about, also after here, we'll talk about the media TV and the sponsorship that we uh, had been asked. Cindy, you can take over now. Thank you, Jay. Um, just another first question from uh, Mr. Msongo. Uh, is boxing done, what, uh, done uh, not out? What is my, my, my opinion? Um, you know, excuse this me, excuse me, Mr. Komo. Can you please switch your camera on unless you have connectivity issues? No, not at all. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, the issue of, uh, of boxing and um, its presence, unfortunately, it is impacted highly because boxing, although we have tournaments and, and uh, tournaments every month, and uh, in some provinces, we even have back-to-back -back tournaments, uh, Saturday and Sunday, uh, when it is not seen, um, it, it, uh, it almost uh, talks to it not being uh, in existence. Uh, in, in the presentation I made, uh, I spoke about uh, the issue of, uh, of broadcasting in, in, in general and, and, uh, and that unfortunately our, our, our champions and just development uh, in the absence of this, you, you are likely not to know about uh, the sport. So, so we do have uh, uh, um, activity, high activity as such. Uh, just uh, in, in, in Eastern Cape, um, we normally have uh, a promoter who even requests um, a special uh, approval to just host a little bit more than what is uh, regulated. But fortunately, the, our regulations do uh, make provision for that. And, and that is because of, uh, of uh, the number of, of uh, uh, interest and the number of athletes that uh, we, we, we have. Our biggest problem is that uh, we are unable, unfortunately, to, to, to showcase this. Um, as also mentioned, um, in, the, in the various uh, weight divisions, we have uh, champions um, uh, 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 and national uh, uh, title holders in those divisions. Um, and with the two that is currently vacant, uh, there is uh, plans uh, for, for, for those tournaments. So it, boxing in, in this country is, is very much um, alive. Um, and and there's, there's commitment um, uh, from uh, boxers and uh, the lovers of sport in general. Um, we, when you do go to venues, um, you do find that these venues are, are, are packed. But what is missing is just the support structure around around uh, uh, that. The unhappiness of, of licensees. Um, just back in 2018, uh, we did a road show with, uh, with, uh, with SAPC. And uh, the road show was to specifically just speak on how do we bring back boxing, um, you know, in, in, into the homes of uh, boxing consumers. Um, and it was sort of um, a tender process where uh, each province, there would be a selection of uh, a, a, a promoter 
that would host uh, a tournament. And some of these tournament even had themes. Uh, for instance, uh, around June, it would be a theme around uh, the Youth Month, uh, Heritage Day, etc. Unfortunately, in the middle of this, um, SAPC uh, made it known uh, to us that uh, it doesn't have the funds to sustain um, this program. And therefore, our last uh, tournament, I think, I think it was in October 2018, in, in the Free State. So, so there had been a, a, a start on this. Um, we did communicate to our licensees uh, the, the challenges that are, are in place. And uh, however, we didn't just stop there. We continued engaging uh, uh, SAPC on even canned um, uh, uh, programs. Um, and, and obviously taking into consideration that sometimes a live um, a, a tournament does impose its own uh, challenges and requirements. However, unfortunately, you know, from the SAPC side, they were unable to continue uh, with the arrangement. Um, recently, with the appointment of the new general manager, um, we reached out once again um, to, to activate uh, the discussions. And uh, given the, the plans that uh, 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 the general manager had in place, our goal was to first make sure that these discussions do not happen outside or without us being consulted um, as obviously the regulator of, uh, of, uh, of, of the sport. And we've we've uh, we've shared this information uh, with with licenses in our various communication. Um, the reality is that the, the the communication of the match comes at a time where we had not uh, even uh, gotten the first tournament underway because we are coming uh, from from a lockdown. And I think we were still finalizing the operational uh, operational plan. And it is mainly driven by the announcement of, um, of the Bundesliga being on, on SAPC. And validly, uh, you know, licenses are, are, are saying, you know, why not boxing when we have uh, boxing in the, in, the, in, in the country? The unfortunate part is that uh, our, our licenses did not engage BSA at all. Um, one, to even give us an opportunity to update um, on our last statement as where we are with uh, with the Boxing South Africa. Before the issue, uh, the statement was issued, uh, we made uh, various uh, um, uh, attempts to contact um, the, 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 the person uh, who was said to uh, be the organizer of, of, of the match. And, and unfortunately, those attempts uh, by BSA did not uh, uh, go anywhere as we were unable to reach the licensee. It was very important for us to, to one, um, you know, speak to our licenses in that we are not, uh, we are not uh, stopping any licensee from, from um, you know, exercising their democratic right to have their voices viewed. However, we would have thought that uh, BSA would uh, be engaged in this so that if there is any eventualities, we are very much uh, aware of that because we know that sometimes the best intentions do not normally end as such. And sometimes, uh, you know, a just a demonstration then ends up not uh, 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 coming out the, the way that it, it was intended. However, we, we, we have made it uh, clear to our licenses that we will continue, uh, you know, um, working with SAPC. They have uh, made commitment that uh, at the time that they are ready to have this conversation uh, with us in terms of a plan and not just talks they will make sure that uh, they include us in, in those uh, uh, discussions. Um, I would request the, uh, the, the CFO to just cover the issue of the relief fund and P PPE. However, before that, I want to take note of the, um, the comment on the prioritization of uh, women participation. And just uh, assure the, 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 the members that um, this is our priority as well. And as mentioned earlier, We've even gone to um, uh, 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 to the lens of um, even uh, uh, putting through a proposal, a specific proposal, uh, 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 to 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 the minister on how best he can assist us uh, in, in in driving this. We we are budgeting on an annual basis now um, uh, for uh, the driving of of uh, of the women in boxing uh, uh, program, and we've developed. Um, 
a plan on how we are going to uh, uh, roll out uh, this, but mostly just to make sure that uh, we, we don't only look at women in the month of, of August, but uh, also ensure that they are participating throughout the year and with other, with other categories, uh, such as your promoters, trainers and managers, we are seeing how we, we can and, uh, grow this. Just in the last year, we only had one manager, a female. We didn't have any 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 trainers, and uh, the, the the numbers for female promoters were not where we are today. And we are continuing seeing just that that improvement. And we will definitely make sure that through the through the women in boxing committee, we also put in uh, supportive uh, uh, means to ensure that uh, that number grows, but also not just uh, grow as a number but that there is value in, 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 in women in, in participation. So I can assure the members there that uh, that is very well within um, our, our focus. The, the communication and marketing strategy, um, what has uh, a BSA done, in, especially when it comes to, to broadcasting? Uh, we share the same um, you know, concerns that when there is boxing, it's, it's only late at night. Uh, this has been actually uh, a discussion with uh, with SAPC um, and and a, and a request specifically on on this in the meantime um, has been put through in that the only program that we have on on boxing plays at half past ten at night on Friday. Now, even if you had to go and get a, a, a sponsor, one of the first thing that they want to know is where am I going to see my brand? Where am I going to get value? And to point uh, uh, that uh, 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 sponsorship to half past 10, it doesn't help because most of the people are, are sleeping. And uh, I mean, Friday night is a time where people are normally uh, normally out. And just the half past 10 is, is, is a bit late. We have requested that this uh, program um, be looked at the, 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 the time slot. There are challenges in terms of, uh, you know, the, the numbers where, uh, you know, um, it, it is said that because you have soapies uh, at that time, those are those are the kind of programs that drive uh, a higher numbers. However, um, there is commitment uh, from 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 SAPC that, at the very least, as a start, they will look at the at this program TKO and see how best they can just move it forward. And I think that will facilitate all the other uh, us moving forward with all the other uh, challenges that that we have because at least. With that program, you would be able to to go to any sponsor and uh, and, and 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 create uh, that that platform for for them to come into the sport of of, of boxing. Uh, but we are also not uh, looking at your your conventional way of consuming boxing. Um, the world right now is moving really to um, on demand, um, and one of the things that uh, we, we are certainly considering is how do we use the online system to get uh, uh, a boxing out in the public? Uh, just the last uh, uh, tournament that we, we had on the 17th, um, although it was on SABC on, sorry, on SABC, uh, it was on SABC online. However, it was also partnering with another uh, uh, online uh, provider. So those are the, also the things that we, we, we are looking into. We do understand, and it's a reality, that data, the cost of data in the country is, is quite high, and therefore this is not a solution for everybody. Um, and and, and uh, other means that um, we could certainly look into is to, um, you know, having engagements and, uh, and, and just exploring on the zero-rated options um, in terms of, 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 of getting that. Uh, we have uh, uh, started um, uh, contacting your, 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 your various networks. The, the response rate is, is very, very slow. However, at least we have planted that seed. And currently we have about three online uh, platforms that um, would uh, 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 um, be able to, um, to broadcast or assist to just get the boxing um, uh, uh, out in the public. And two of those uh, in Gauteng and, and one is um, in Eastern Cape. And actually this one is, is, is owned uh, by a former uh, boxing uh, a champion. And, and, and it is actually receiving um, uh, attraction to the point that it attracted 
the interest of one of the biggest promoters uh, in, in Australia. So we certainly would want to look into that and not just looking at SABC and, and, and Supersport. Just on Supersport, they had uh, mentioned uh, the challenges that they're having with putting out boxing um, out in the public. They, they are, however, uh, looking uh, at, uh, at affording us um, uh, more slots uh, over and above what is currently um, av available. And, and those slots being uh, informed uh, by a, 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 a certain criteria of selection and appointing of uh, promoters. That uh, proposal is uh, in and um, it will be going into their next uh, uh, platform in terms of uh, their planning. And uh, we are hoping that uh, starting from the financial year, we will see at least uh, one tournament um, for development, specifically for development. Uh, or, and, and Yes, yes. Sandy. I get it, I get it. No, now you are responding, but your response is like you are presenting. No, I, 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 I'm suspecting, I'm suspecting you do a passionate about your work. So you still have other questions. And then we, uh, now I'm saying that try baby to, <laughs> to, to be um, short to the point when we are answering. I'm saying that, hey, it's Sister Sako Sitema. <laughs> I wish that we must stand up maybe we are short, <laughs> and then we want it. <laughs> no, I, 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 to... I, I take note, and I, I, I do apologize. I'm putting anything in Ropile, but yes, yes, I, 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 I take note, uh, uh, Che. Okay. Um, okay. okay, just then, in, 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 in conclusion, um, the, the issue of, of, of trainers. Um, I've, I've, I've uh, already touched this a bit on the on the presentation when I said we need our key priorities area is on trainers and, and, and ring officials. The reality of it is that although we license our trainers, there is no clear and, and, and guidelines in terms of, uh, of uh, how we accredit um, our trainers. And it is something that needs to be prioritized because um, it, it is a, 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 a risk area, but also it talks to um, how we can have uh, trainers that impart uh, knowledge for those that are, are, um, are coming in. One of the uh, uh, things that we had started uh, just doing is just trying to get uh, experienced trainers that are currently in the sport of boxing to, um, to, to just uh, do certain uh, activities, uh, which will uh, obviously be educational programs for uh, boxers, sorry, for all other trainers that are coming in, and of course your your your, your seconds. So, chair, if I, I, I can be allowed on this one specifically on our next uh, uh, presentation, I will make sure that we cover uh, what we have done on on this. But I, I want to assure the members that this has been identified as as an area that we we need to to improve on. Fortunately, chair, uh, that was my last. Uh, um, uh, um, item to respond to. The two other items that are left is just the relief fund and the PPE, and I would request uh, the CFO uh, to then take those. It cannot be last. There are other members who are still going to raise questions. Thank you. Thank you so much. They will appreciate. Mm -hmm. Any um, other responses? I still have two hands who are still going to Raise questions. Thank you. Okay. G good morning, Chair. Morning, morning, Tabang. <laughs> uh, good morning to you, Chair. Good morning to the members of the committee. And now that we are doing virtual, uh, good, morning, good morning to also to my board member and the chairperson of the board, uh, the DDG and other colleagues. Yeah, I would, I would, I would, uh, I would answer the two questions that were asked by. Uh, uh, Mr. Mpongo, uh, uh, through you, Chair, one is the relief fund. We initially uh, assisted our licenses to apply for the National Relief Fund, which came out during, I think, level five. And 
Subsequent to that, there were other provincial relief funds, which at the present moment, we don't have information as to the distribution in terms of our licensing. And we're gonna request the indulgence of the committee chair through you to provide the actual statistics. We have the statistics based into the number of uh, licensees uh, who received the actual relief fund and the actual amount. This was only for the boxing community and that can be a report that can be provided to the committee. Uh, on the second issue chair is the issue of the PPE. We, we had done an audit of the gyms where professional boxers are, are, are training and some of these uh, gyms throughout the country where gyms where you will find that there's a combination of uh, bo professional boxers and sometimes amateurs. But what we have done is to produce some sort of a checklist with the department in, in our, when we're requesting the department to allow professional boxers to train. And these are the gyms that we have requested those people to comply with the lockdown rules. Very stringent. So those, these are the only gyms that we have actually provided, um, you know, sanitizer, uh, surface disinfectants, masks, registers, and thermometers. Uh, and once again, Chair, we, we, we request the indulgence of the committee to provide the actual stats of the geographical distribution <laughs> up to the level of a town or a city where exactly did we do that and 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 and, and, and what did that our our PPE has been audited now with the the, the last so we have spent around yeah. 216,000 it's not that much but we have managed to distribute some of these things to relieve some of the gyms that we have had and and, and thank you chair thank you so much uh, um i'm still having follow up Questions, Honorable Mama Bulo and Honorable Siabe on that order. Excuse me, Chair, we also have Mr. Mshongo. Oh, Honorable Mshongo, after those hands. Honorable Mama Bulo. It looks like we've lost uh, Mr. Mamabulu, Madam Chair. Okay, Mr. Siabe. Thanks very much, Chair. And, uh, good morning to our visitors and my colleagues uh, in the committee and our staff. I let's try to listen attentively i might have missed i just want to know if they can just give us a a, a helicopter view of their strategy for the development of boxing in particular in rural areas or rural provinces two in terms of their finances just to be clarified as to whether do they have other sources of income or do they only rely on the support by the department. And uh, I had the acting CEO trying to explain their difficulties with the broadcasters but I couldn't get it clear as to where is the, is the problem. Why are boxing matches not being broadcast? Whether it is the issue of uh, finance or what? If, if possible, if she can come back to that so that one gets it uh, clearly. But uh, generally, one is happy with the with the report, and one wants to welcome the report as it is. Thanks, thanks, Chairperson. Thanks, Chair. Chair, I'm not happy with the response. You know, when you present something, 
and you don't have figures, I tend to ask myself exactly how are we going to do monitoring and evaluation, especially issues of PEE. The, that issue is so of importance. You give us a, a, a audited figure, but you don't know how many were issued. Now, there's a contradiction because you cannot have the numbers, you cannot have a cost, but you don't have the figures. Now I'm asking myself, now even the issue of, of perception that I spoke about earlier, they still stand to say boxing is down, but not yet out. And there's a confirmation to me because the, you are under the you are falling under the grace, so to say. Because you 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 know when you do diligent your program one, it's governance and administration. It must be clear if it's governance and administration. And you must know the actual figures. Now, another follow-up question, you don't even know how many gyms were given those uh, PPEs. You're still going, I thought they're on your books. But now, anyway, I understand the way. The question that I wanted to find out, we always see the chairperson do we have any other board members who are going out because that term of office? And can we hear their voice? Can I know them? I've never seen them, even in the previous term. Thank you, Chair. Madam Chair, you are muted. Okay, thank you, Honorable Shongo. To you, the leadership of Boxing South Africa. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Dr. Moses, I think the question was, was, was for you in terms of the, we should have the number, the gyms that were, that were supplied and how, how much was supplied. Uh, I think um, between yourself and Cindy, you should be able to provide that those numbers because I know they are they're supposed to be there. But uh, I will um, I will uh, I will uh, give you the opportunity to respond to that. And now the development in the rural areas. Um, it, development is a very wide, wide, wide situation. As I say. In terms of the starting of boxing in the area, the starting is is un, falls under Sanabo. We are mandated to deal with professional boxing. Now, the the, the, the development that we do in in the different areas is the training of professional ring officials. Uh, and, uh, and and judges and and, and uh, judges and and referees and, uh, and and other but in terms of the boxers themselves and in terms of that that is the the ambit of uh, of uh, sanabo that's why i had said earlier on when we we are now starting to work together with sanabo then we'll be able to to share that vision and the responsibility of of the development of the boxers in that rural area and also the the their the seconds and, and and everything it's a process that that we have but we, we can only re, uh, recruit and once we've recruited some into the professional then we take them through uh, the development uh, uh, stages for them to be competent and thing but we cannot do the 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 the, the, the basic in terms of the ghost, that's Sanabo's, Sanabo's um, uh, duty. Now, this year, I will also ask about the financing of, of Boxing South Africa. If, if you can see from the pie uh, 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 diagram that was provided by the acting CEO, the bulk of the, of the finances for, for Boxing South Africa comes from uh, 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 the government. There's there's some from from different, uh, but the bulk the bulk bulk of of it you, you are correctly is, is from uh, is from uh, uh, the government. Now, boxing unlike any other sport, um, it, it, it is run 
by us to, to monitor it, but the events themselves are put by the promoters. Now, the promoters are the ones who mostly go out and ask for sponsors. Now, when we go out and sponsor, we, we make sure that we don't try to trample and, or compete with our licenses. That makes it difficult. When you take soccer, let's take soccer or cricket. The, 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 the cricket and the, and the soccer administration go out and get sponsorship for the whole activities within the sport. But we cannot do that because each promotion and each activity is an individual business entity that this, this problem. So sometimes it, it, we are being compared with the other sports, but unfortunately, this is uh, uh, the reality of, 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 of it. Now, in terms of uh, the broadcaster, uh, the broadcaster, uh, and Cindy will come into it. The initial uh, uh, problem, if you remember, the problem of boxing not being, being uh, uh, put up in the, in, in, on TV, especially the national broadcaster SABC started way back uh, just after after uh, the World Cup 2010 because we were informed that there the, the are no more finances the, uh, for us to because when 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 we, they set up um, a, a boxing match the issue is that the the promoter sells the rights for the fight for the tournament to the to the to the broadcaster and the Broadcaster pays them a certain amount, which which they, they've agreed on. Unlike with the, let's say other sports, where if it's soccer, that it, it, it's covered for the whole year, but for this time, it's covered only for that for, for for that situation. So we were informed that there's no finances uh, for boxing. That's why uh, to do live boxing. That's why what they were doing now was to do what they called canned canned um, uh, tournaments where they. They will come to the tournament with minimal equipment and 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 record the tournament and 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 then broadcast them at a later stage in the in the on, on, on television. That is for SABC. With with Super Sport, we've been engaged them for a long time. But being a, a business thing is that they've had agreement with certain promotions, and we we it's an ongoing fight that they must open for all other promoters. To be able to to can uh, to can to can get the funds. So if you can see in the last uh, few few years that has happened is that the uh, super sport has also opened up for many black uh, black promoters, Eastern Cape, Gauteng, and other places. They have now started opening up because in the past they used to have a, a, a single agreement with a few, one or two promoters uh, at, at that level. So at this point in time. Supersport is opening up. ETV, we tried. They tried once at some five, four, year, four years, five years ago. They never came back on, on board uh, on, on, on this issue. So our main drive is to have uh, SABC, which is open to all other uh, members to come there. Now, the problem that we faced was some someone or some people in SABC decided to take away the slot for boxing, which was at 6 o'clock. We used to have a, a, a slot of boxing at six on on Sunday after soccer. It used to usually follow soccer. They had an, a, a reason to say that uh, when when there's a there's a there's an extra time or there's an um, there's a, there, there, there's time added to soccer. It, 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 it encroaches on on uh, on, um, on 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 the time for for boxing, and then it creates a problem. So. Those are some of the reasons they gave. But in terms of that, they, they changed. The West was to change it to 10 o'clock. And that's an ongoing fight that we're having with them. I hope now with the engagement that we're having with the new administration in, in SABC, they'll be able to put it in, in a slot up uh, 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 around about 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, uh, so that the people can still be awake to be able to watch uh, the, 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 the boxing match. Cindy, I don't know if you want to answer some of the questions. I hope the one, uh, the one that had been, and and I remember that they, uh, um, um, mentioned the issue of legacy. For me, it will be difficult to talk about what legacy we are giving, but we are living. I think the uh, the the public and things will be able to judge us on what legacy we leave. <laughs> Chairperson, Honourable Farber.
the Honorable Father, uh, can, can, we were still waiting for the answers. Okay, um, well, I'll be able to get just a small bite in, please, afterwards, uh, because I would like to also ask a question specifically on the development. Okay. Chairperson? Yes. Hello, Chairperson? Yes. My name is Fadu. Yes, yes, Fadu. Um, um, I, I, with your indulgence, Chair, I just want... Hello, Chair. Where is your face? I can't see you. Uh, yes, Chair. Yes, Madam. I, I, I've been trying all day long. It's not happening, but I can hear. I, I, I can't see a thingy on this phone. I don't know what's been happening. Okay, never mind. Okay, go on. Th thanks, thanks, Chair. No, Madam, I just wanted to weigh in where... The, the question from uh, Honorable Mr. Mshongo is around uh, develop uh, boxing in the rural areas. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say this, that boxing has got an urban bias. That's the first thing. But uh, what has happened uh, within, within the South African context is that most boxers uh, migrate from the rural areas to, to the cities, of course, where there are probably better trainers, better facilities. But the fact of the matter is that most of the boxers who are actually even holding sway in South Africa right now come from rural areas. So it's very important for us uh, to have that synergy with Sanabo to see to it that that feeder system from the rural areas to the to the urban areas is actually kept on uh, on, on on leash. The the the, the, the boxers from, uh, for instance, champions from the Eastern Cape. Some of them come from the surrounding areas, from um, from Amtata. They come from um, uh, Gwelecha and all the rural areas around East London. So does most of the cream de la cream of boxing in Houghton. They actually come from Limpopo. So for for us, Honourable uh, Msongo, it's very important that we keep a nice balance between what is called rural development. Uh, uh, with specific reference to boxing and also what's happening in the in the cities, I know, for instance, that uh, a ring officials, trainers, and and, and, and referees from Houghton would travel to the first stage to set up tournaments, and uh, when they go there, they actually train train the locals to to actually run tournaments on their own. So it happens in the Eastern Cape that uh, the guys from Tanzania, East London will go deep into the rural areas to host boxing tournaments and uh, in the main in the meantime also uh, train uh, the ring officials who actually originate from those areas thanks chair any intake chairperson uh, 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 can, can i perhaps do the question yes. that it can be maybe part of the answering as well? Yes, Mr. Faba. Thank you, Chairperson. Yes, Chairperson, specifically on the rural areas for um, our boxers and coaches. I've seen, as I say, I'm coming from the Northern Cape, and uh, this is where I grew up. In a small town I called Warrington or Mahareng, there's a coach and a boxer Gert Nicolokeng. Now, Gert, Gert is one of the guys that I know he was involved with Boxing South Africa trying to promote boxing. Now, I put it on the chat group as well um, on this uh, meeting that the people of SA Boxing can actually get his name. Now, Gert is in love with boxing and he's been training young kids and other boxers in Warrington or Mahareng for quite a long time. He's been involved so much and in helping with boxing tournaments. But as a person without a job, um, it is difficult for him. And he's been funding a lot of this out of his own pocket and some of the people just helping with money. Now, Che, it is, it is heartbroken for me to see someone that is actually so involved in the sport and not being able to help kids um, as they have the love for the sport. And I'm saying this, Chairperson, because believe it or not, um, when I was a young child of eight years old, 
Um, I was doing boxing, and Charlie Ware, that time, the silver assassin, as they called him, was trained by the guy that coached me, called Uncle Bushy Oliver. Now, Billy Oliver, his son, and Charlie Ware were South African champions in those years. And they got, uh, I can see this in Gatana, he knows them. So when Bushy Oliver and Charlie Ware and these people, they were the front runners of good boxing um, those years. Now, when I see a guy like Gert and Pollocking, and I see with the eagerness that he's training those youngsters without any financial backup, it breaks my heart. And, and I really want to press it upon you guys to somehow get involved Get hold of this guy like Gert Mukola King. And I suppose there's a lot of those Gerts in the whole of South Africa. But we can actually bring boxing back to where it belongs in South Africa when we really start helping these guys in the rural areas. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Can I? Yes, Chairperson. No, I was just saying... Um... I'm taking a back by back back by um, Mr. Faber on um, the glorious days of, uh, of of boxing with the Ren stadiums and the, all those areas, uh, BM, BMSC uh, tournaments. Now, um, Mr. Her, uh, Mr. Faber is mentioning that era when professional boxing and amateur boxing were housed into one house. And they could they could uh, uh, they could work together and produce good boxers. That's why I'm saying I'm happy that at this point in time, in our discussion with Sanabo and our working together with Sanabo, we'll be able to get people uh, her, uh, people like Her and Bullock Gang assistance, give them uh, gloves and things like that, because then we will not be infringing on the on the on the on the on, on the toes of the pro. Uh, of the amateur boxers who in the past refused to work with professional boxing. So on that score, I would like to say, um, uh, even though our time as a uh, recent board, uh, the present board might be over, but our hearts are still in boxing, we'll still be able to come and help where it, it's necessary. Uh, and um, I, I, I'm sure if, if, if you do not uh, uh, indulge on you, uh, Chairperson, uh, there was a question that they have not seen, and um, they have not seen some he or he had some of the board members. I have, I think, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Martins, Gilberto Martins, who is also a member of the board, who I think can say a few words now. As a, as a, as a, as a forward, Mr. Mr. Uh, Gilberto Martin was part of the the team. He's an architect. Uh, is a team. Is an architect by training. He was one of the team of the people who put up the gymnasium in Dube. That was donated. Uh, part of it was donated by the by by the World Boxing Council and uh, the department uh, and Houting uh, uh, Sports and thing came into in, in, into helping out with the gymnasium. He's been a boxing person. So I'll ask him to say a few words because uh, we don't like one us to go out. I think and Mr. Jack. Uh, he just finished the meeting at, at university, he might be joining us, then you can hear his voice. Thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you very much and good afternoon, Honourable Chair and uh, members. Just a, of the just, a moment, just a moment, but in those responses, I'm suspecting that um, the, the PP is the audited uh, yes, yes. statements, we can get it, the numbers of teams. Uh, if we are, are not here today, we, we can forward to the secretary. I'm avoiding that, that question must be uh, re-raised. Uh, I'm, I, 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 I'm not against that they must talk. Thank you. Uh, no, no, I agree, I, I agree with you, uh, 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 Chair, Chairperson. You know, the PPE, the PPE situations have, have created so many problems in the country. It's important that yes. they must give out those numbers and account for the monies that have been coming, uh, that have come out of, from both South Africa. Thank you. Mr. Machens. Thank you, Honorable Chair. And once again, good morning to all Honorable Members and to my colleagues on the board and my executive. Uh, Chair, yeah, it's been a, an interesting period for the board. 
and certainly having been part of this board in the past past years, what we've certainly done is tried to move boxing into a new era or into a next round if one would use the boxing terminology. And my, my roles were really clearly defined at the outset of when I joined the board. The first issue was the debt collection, uh, which was certainly a, a strategic issue which we had to do and Cindy has spoken about it, but I will give you uh, a one minute feedback on that. Uh, and, and the reasons behind it, why we're in debt is certainly due to sanctions in the sanctioning system and the payment of sanctions. And we did, I did develop a model for that, including the Boxing Hall of Fame, which I think was critical, and obviously the other committees. But Chair, on the debt collection, unfortunately, boxing um, relies on honesty and relies on what we'd call um, when the sanction fees are put in, it's an estimate, and then it's an estimate based on something, and 10% is supposed to be paid. And what happens, it's a post-factor issue. So therefore, you estimate you're going to pay X, and you will then see how much money you make and the profits and all of those things, and then you declare them, then you pay X. And often, if you declare a loss, then the, the sanction fee that you're supposed to pay, you don't get paid. And this is a difficult issue to do boxing. Now, this is not the way it's done internationally. Um, unfortunately, this is what our Act and legislation says. And therefore, what I then developed was a new sanctioning system where it's an upfront payment. And it's an upfront payment which is then done in the process that whether it's type of event, type of title fight, type of tournament, they are fixed fees. And this is what the international organizations do. So if you're having a world title fight, you pay X amount up front, irrelevant of what you make at the end. But then at least it covers the costs. And certainly in the case of BSA, we wouldn't have the very big debts that we currently have. We also cleaned up the debtors list, and that was really important to us. We cleaned it up. Some people had passed on. And I had a meeting with all the, 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 the promoters who were in debt to the organization. And based on that, what we did is we prepared letters, we put a, pro, a payment process, and certainly some promoters came to the party. But, Chair, if you aren't promoting fights, if you're not making money out of boxing, how do you pay the issues, even though you owe us of fights that you did promote and that you did hold? So the, it's a very important area that one has to focus on, and obviously the new board or whoever takes over, we need to ensure that the sanctioning model and the paying of sanction fees would need to be reviewed. Legislation will need to be reviewed, regulations need to be reviewed, so that when, the, when by the time that the boxing tournament starts, all the sanction fees are paid, as a, a, not as estimates, but as a uh, upfront fee. The various um, boxing uh, boxes, purses are in place. So at the end of the tournament, there's no coming back to, oh, well, we don't have money, we didn't make money, we can't pay the boxer, X, we must pay them one. So that's certainly a big challenge, I think, with boxing South Africa in going forward. Just in closing then, Chair, I think what's extremely important as well is the Hall of Fame. We've heard today how boxing has played a role, and certainly I was fortunate in the in the 90s to do, to, to do so, a lot of work with boxing in Soweto, and there was certainly a hype of activity. You know, we had uh, the uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, certainly when the late um, uh, Baby Jake's gym, which we put together. We had the World Boxing Council. We had funding from all over the world, um, even in Alexandria. And, and that was because boxing was certainly in the highlight and in the limelight. Now, the history is there. The achievements are there. However, if you look for them, it's unknown. And what I did develop at the start of the process when I joined the board was to develop the idea of creating a hall of fame for boxing, aligned to a tourist attraction so that one could feed off the other. So you take Constitutional Hill, which has possibly 10,000 10, people visiting occasionally there near the Constitutional Court. If one could build a, a boxing a Hall of Fame in there, you automatically get the feet from the others. And I think it's critical because not only will it certainly place our history on record, but instead of having in cupboards and in boxes what's been achieved through boxing through all these years, it should be something that must be pursued. Just in closing then, Chair, I, I think from boxing's point of view, it certainly has gone forward. Uh, it can get to its former glory fairly quickly. And sadly, the, it's the Olympics that everyone talks about and we aren't there. But certainly from world titles, from a professional era, boxing still lives and thrives. But if there's not a good pipeline coming out from the amateurs, where certainly through SASPOC and its funding obligations, then the 
the, the, the professionals become limited. But Chair, it's certainly been an honor to have served with my current board members to serve on the, and report back to this committee and to the minister. And I certainly hope that my tenure has made a little bit of a difference. A lot, of, uh, I would like a lot of difference, but I do understand the changes. So from my side, Chair, to you, your committee, and certainly to Peter and the executive, it's been a great honor to have worked with all of you. And I appreciate it. Not only have I learned, and I hope I've contributed. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Thank you, Mr. Martins. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I've, I've, um, I've seen that Honorable Mamabulo is back wanting to raise question. Mama, Honorable Mamabulo. Honorable Mamabulo. You must switch your, your video in order that you must gain your network. I get a picture person. I Chairperson, we have uh, Mr. Lutando Jack as one of our members. I don't know if you'll give him an opportunity whilst we're waiting for Mr. Mamou. I will. I will. Uh, uh, so, Madam Chair, on the network He is on the platform, Ms. Madam Chair. I will just uh, find out what's happening with him. Okay. Maybe he's, he's at tops. Oh, like you. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you twins of tops? <laughs> hey, to work with the <laughs> with the young lions sometimes. <laughs> okay, let me give it to Mr. Jack. Ne? So yes. Then, Yes, ma'am. Okay. To you, Mr. Brother Jack. Jack, you're on the floor. Let's see okay. your phone, Brother Jack. All right. Uh, I, hope, I hope that my face is visible. Uh, good, uh, good morning, uh, Honorable uh, Chairperson and members of the Portfolio Committee. Um, yes, it's, a, it's a it's yes. a great it's a great opportun opportunity to be back uh, in the portfolio uh, committee. Um, we've been uh, journeying uh, together under the overall um, oversight and guidance uh, of the of the portfolio committee as boxing uh, as boxing South Africa. Um, uh, I know the, co the portfolio committee knows um, the, the journey we've been, uh, we've been, we've been traversing. And, and uh, thank you so much uh, for the leadership uh, you've, been, uh, you've been providing uh, to, uh, to us. I think uh, the, the audit outcomes uh, are instructive in this regard uh, in terms of uh, uh, demonstrating uh, uh, your contribution, you know, as uh, uh, as well in terms of providing that robust uh, oversight uh, over us as the board and uh, as uh, uh, as the as the association as well. Um, uh, in the in, in the board, I've been part of the um, um, uh, finance, uh, um, uh, HR, and ICT governance. Uh, a committee, uh, but but generally uh, my my role, you know, in the board has been uh, that of um, uh, really contributing uh, towards uh, um, helping uh, um, uh, boxing uh, as a as a fraternity, you know, to to really understand uh, the changing times of the world of. Uh, of the world of sport and uh, really taking appropriate positions 
you know, uh, in fashion, you know, its uh, its own future, understanding the, the the nature of the changing world, you know, of uh, uh, of uh, of boxing, uh, particularly given the the fact that uh, sport, um, yes, of course, plays uh, the central role of uh, national cohesion, uh, social cohesion, but but also sport has been commercialized. So, so, so navigating uh, the two twin, the, the two twin, uh, the twin principles, which may uh, be also contradictory at some point, uh, has been a, a journey. I think that we've been traversing uh, well. Uh, of course, it has not been without uh, challenges, you know, as uh, uh, as boxing. I think uh, uh, as this sport. Um, uh, albeit uh, challenges, uh, but I think we have put boxing on uh, growth uh, overall on a, on a new development path. But, but that path uh, really needs to be sustained, consolidated, uh, you know, um, uh, going forward, both from the perspective of governance, uh, uh, from the perspective of fundraising, uh, resource mobilization, as uh, Mr. Martins was saying, but but also from the perspective of uh, really uh, of boxing development uh, throughout uh, the, its value chain, you know, of uh, development from uh, from the base that is uh, from uh, from amateur level uh, up to professional uh, professional level, and um, ensuring that you adequately address uh, all areas of development in in, in boxing. And, and in a sustained uh, in a sustained way, and working with all the partners, I think that's the challenge that is required. Uh, that 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 all of us must uh, rise up to, if indeed, as uh, Mr. Martin was saying, with boxing, is to take its rightful place, you know, uh, in the family of sport, both nationally as well as as well as uh, uh, internationally. That is boxing. Uh, the boxing. As a sport, you know, in the uh, in the country. So it's been an exciting work uh, of a national service. That's how we've seen our our work as that of contributing uh, to nation building as a national service. And uh, we, it's been a, a really a fulfilling period, you know, to serve uh, to serve the nation. Thanks, thanks, Jefferson. Thank you, uh, Mr. Jack. Mr. Mkhongo? Thank you, Chairperson. Chair, you know, I was reflecting two days ago, we're debating regarding EPPE corruption. And yes, I've noted that you're saying they must prepare the list and they must give it to us. But how can they give us figures, but they don't know? How can they give us the total cost, but they don't know the figures, which, which team was given the PEE? But I've noted that they will send that information, but you questioned the, the first uh, program, which is governance and administration. Chair, regarding the board members, why I wanted to hear, because we always have the chairperson in our meeting, but we've never seen the two gentlemen, and you are welcome, but farewell to you guys. For the first time seeing you both, even virtual, uh, even in our interaction since 2017, I've never seen you. But nonetheless, Chair, the question that I wanted to, to find out, uh, especially regarding the outgoing boards, uh, board members, since the, yes, uh, the Chair stated clearly that we'll charge for e e legacy that they've left. But you know, the issues of them to give us the same presentation, it's not some called for because I, I don't see outcome out of the presentation. I've seen this presentation before and I can challenge even the chairperson to say, you know, you meet with Sanabo, but the outcome is not there. You meet with licensees. I think the chairperson raised that same concern that there's not clear roadmap for the licensees. Worst of all, they're going to do it. You've engaged with them, but you're not happy. You're not part of that uh, march on the 4th of November. But it's what is your statement? How far are you with the SAPC? Uh, because obviously there's a concern or a complaint from them. What are you doing as a middleman? 
But nonetheless, Chair, uh, those are my two words. I wanted to say farewell to the outgoing board. And I believe the next coming board that we are going to engage with them, uh, they'll make sure that they put SA first. One thing that I wanted to find out, uh, Chair, which plan do they have, especially regarding promoters? Because the, the, the plan that has been presented to us, it's the same plan that I've seen before. And then especially regarding the marketing of the activities within boxing uh, that will lead to the actual brand here, BSA. Another question, Chair, that I wanted to deal with this, the resolution between this dispute, you know, amongst licensees, that's a concern to me. They're going too much. What what are the resolutions or the dispute? We are aware of it, but you know, for the boxing fraternity to say we are with you guys or we are not with you because SAPC is doing this, I don't see that uh, coming forth. But nonetheless, share thank you. I'm repeating myself. Bye. Uh, thank you, Honorable Chair. Excuse me, it's a first eleven uh, is. Uh, Ask that I'm going to another mm. meeting, please. Apology, mm. not my apology. Okay. Okay. Yes, Honorable Mklongo, thank you for your contributions uh, with the other members, uh, with their contributions. Honorable members, uh, let me let me take this um, uh, also opportunity uh, to thank the outgoing board members because some of the questions that you are honorable Mklongo, with due respect as uh, also he was saying questions that he's now raising is raising to the outgoing uh, board and and maybe it's going to to be fortunate to those maybe can be remain behind uh, I can note that with the promoters, uh, uh, we went uh, to Eastern Cape to do um, an oversight. When we were there, the promoters were fighting among themselves. But uh, the fruits of that, the department and the, this uh, board, they've managed to, to unite them. That's one report that I was commending, that at least uh, they were even citing an example. Uh, there, were, there were disputes then. So I'm suspecting you have tried to talk a lot about this problem of SAPC. But all in all, uh, what I can say, um, you are living uh, this board without this time having somebody uh, who who may who may I can say be in charge be investigated you know three two about two to three uh, board members who have been having those problems so uh, we have been working with you you have uh, came in in so many challenges in boxing South Africa. Today, you, you, you have tried all what you can. Uh, uh, it's, it's not 100% what you have done, but you are appreciating that uh, you have put your mark. Mm -hmm. uh, wishing you well wherever you are going, that uh, you you were exemplary to, to 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 us. You were listening to us. Sometimes we're very harsh, but we were always saying that uh, we want us to work together. And cause as you are this committee, we are very passionate about sport. We are very passionate about your rural areas. We are very passionate about the development of our women and our rural people. So uh, we all and always emphasize that. We do understand that um, when we were saying that 
you are biased to hear you, you are honest, you are biased to urban. Whilst you are not forgetting that those urban uh, people, they are coming from Rula, but we would love to hear one other time and day saying that you were there, they came to urban because you were part of the, themselves in the rural areas as boxing South Africa, not as Sanapo or whatever. We must create crutch there to see what is Sanapo is doing. That's what we, when we're asking you to do your oversight as we're doing oversight. So uh, we're saying go well uh, and, and, and we are wishing uh, to see you we are going. Maybe in South Africa, we are wishing them a luck. Okay. Chairperson? Th th thank you, uh, Mom Beauty, uh, Honorable Chairperson. I'm really touched by words, and uh, I would like to say it has always been um, a pleasure uh, dealing with. And I uh, think in, in correcting a member is that I, in terms of the portfolio committee meetings, I have always not, the times when I'm not around and my board members have always been been there at the board, at the, at the portfolio committee. And, but because we work as a team and I'm, I'm, I must say upfront that uh, I have been fortunate this time that I was asked to lead a group of professional, dedicated, uh, um, people who know what they are doing in the board, who, who whose focus is, is never messed up. And when we come, they come back from the portfolio committee, they will not take it uh, lightly. They will say the portfolio committee said this, 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 the office, this must be done, this must be done. And we thank you for that. So on that score, I would like to say whoever will take for, uh, after us, uh, let's hope um, uh, the legacy that that Dem Strongo was was asking about is that we leave stability in the board because we have um, arbitration and uh, conciliation uh, processes within boxing South Africa. Many of the cases that has happened, we've sorted them out through all these processes of reconciliation. They never went out to court. They never went anywhere, and and uh, and 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 because. Of that, I would like to thank everyone who was involved, and also encouragement when we meet in in functions like the 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 the, the, the awards and things. Chairperson and everybody we welcome you some sports people from over overseas, our banyana banyana and things like that. When we are there, when we meet, you'll always give us advice, and I'd like to thank you for that. Thank you so much. Uh, you are released, uh, uh, Chairperson, and your delegation. Excuse me, Madam uh, Chair. The honorable members. Excuse me, Madam Chair. Yes. There are outstanding yes. questions. There are outstanding questions, Madam Chair, that have not been responded to. Which one? I think Mr. Faber did ask I... something, and Mr. Siabi. I, I did answer why Mr. You let me close the meeting. That's why I'm that is why I'm asking you I'm alerting you, Madam Chair. Because I thought you were still going to give I uh, Ms. Ngomo or Mr. Moses a chance to say something. Chairperson, Mr. Faber, I did answer Mr. <laughs> Faber. And I think uh, uh, Mr. Did did is, Mr. Fark. Yeah. Yeah, but SABC also. Yes, Chairperson, I, I'm, I'm just glad to hear that Ms. Ngatake is going to help Mr. Gert there in Warrington so that he can get boxing back. Yes. Glad to hear that, that they're going to help the people in the townships to really get boxing back. Thanks. Mm, yes. When I was listening, so I didn't see that it is question which was not answered. Uh, my my apology. Okay, Madam Chair. 
Thank you. But we do still have a minute to consider. Maybe we can let a booking as a leave and then. No, I'm I'm not yet close the meeting. Okay. That's why I'm saying. Uh, okay. thank, thank you to our visitors. Uh, I'm releasing them, and you will, the the committee will still remain behind. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, and have okay. a good day, all of you. Thank you, Chair. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Uh, so, Madam so, Chair, Madam Chair, can you put your minutes on the screen? Yes, Madam Chair. And maybe, Madam Chair, just also to alert you that Mr. Zondi is in the meeting. Mr. Zondi is the new member who replaced Ms. Dr. Ngabani. Oh, so, so Mr. Zondi. Oh, Hey, young lion. I'm on Zondi. Chairperson, um, just um, if I can know, are we still um, from the administration side? Are we still the quorum? Yes, Mr. Farah. Th thank you so much. I was just concerned because when we start going um, on the minutes, I just don't want us to eventually set at the situation where we okayed it and it comes back to us that we were not a quorum. Thank you so much. Okay, if uh, the secretary is saying yes, honorable members, um, so uh, let me welcome a uh, honorable member, Zondi, who's uh, replacing uh, Dr. Nkavani. Uh, we do welcome you, honorable member. We've been longing to, to meet you, or not to meet, to meet you officially in the, in the committee. You are a welcome. It's a committee that we are a family. It's a robust committee. It's the committee which is dealing with transformation in all what we are discussing transformation from sport, arts, and culture. And you know, when we're talking about transformation, sometimes things are very hectic. Uh, so uh, we're believing that uh, even some of us, we are still young at heart like your good self. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, this, these are minutes of the 13th of October, uh, the briefing by Cricket South Africa. Uh, we uh, of the outstanding independent of forensic investigation report, intervention by SARS-CoV and all other pertinent matters. But before that, you know, honorable members, uh, we didn't get the the information which we ask from from Weso, from Saskok. So I, I, I don't think they, 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 they are prepared. And I'm, I'm suspecting that honorable members, the question of Saskok is, is getting out of hand. And if now, we are going to think that we will be shifting all our agenda of the committee. Uh, we'll end up being like themselves. We'll be redundant. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk one other day, maybe when we're having uh, the next meeting, if we still have a chance. But really, really, uh, out of that meeting, we've seen their attitude and I was expecting that they are not going to give us this uh, report, but nevertheless, uh, uh, move on, so. Move, 
on. So with your minutes, honorable members, those who were in the minutes of this date, can somebody uh, adopt uh, this minutes? Honorable um, Chair, it's um, Honorable Faber. I, I will adopt it. It's fine. Honorable Faber uh, proposed the adoption of the minutes. Any second? <laughs> Who's that? Maluman. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, last point. Thank you so much. Uh, the minutes adopted. Uh, so, do you have any set of minutes again? Yes, Madam Chair, the 20th of October. Yes, the minutes of the 20th of September, briefing by SASCOG on progress made in preparation for the AGM and update on the application process of Ms. Hendricks, as well as a resolution taken by the board on cricket South Africa and consideration in all. Oh, Abduction of the minutes. Uh, it's it's. Uh, I'm putting the minutes uh, that uh, I'll ask the committee members to adopt these minutes. Uh, uh, honourable members, please adopt your minutes. Honourable Chair, move for the adoption. Honorable Adams is moving Hon for, for Honorable adoption. Honorable Faber, I, I will second chairperson. Honorable Faber seconded to the adoption of the minutes of, of the 20th. Thank you, Honorable min Members. The minutes are adopted. Uh, Honorable uh, the Administrator of the committee. That is all, Madam Chairperson. Honorable members, uh, as you are hearing from me, we are shifting, no shifting of uh, the agenda of the committee, but you must note that we didn't get what we wanted. Maybe because uh, I know that uh, some of the members are here was the rushing uh, honorable father. We cannot uh, deny task that uh, some political parties are having. Uh, we discuss this when we were together. Uh, let me take this opportunity also to thank you honorable members that every time you are prioritizing your committee and even your contribution uh, uh, with other uh, entities, they do uh, appreciate our oversight. Uh, let alone sometimes we are harsh to them because we don't want not to tell where they are wrong. And when they are right, they are right. I do appreciate honorable members. Let's keep the good work for the country. Uh, honorable, uh, Amun Zondi, how are you? I'm, 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 I'm well, thank you, Chairperson. Um, great. Can you greet us? We must, we must also see me. Uvela, well. <laughs> Can you greet oh, us? Oh, nice. Uh, in a drag, I'm part of me. Amun Zondi, can you greet us? Thank you, Chair. <laughs> I'm trying to get my uh, visual here. But am I audible? Yes, yes, yes. You yeah, are. but I'm not. I'm, but you can't see me. I'm trying to get. Uh, but I see yeah, your but, picture. Yes, yes but we, we are fine. 
Thank you, Honorable uh, Chair, for a yeah, warm, warm welcome. Uh, yes. I, 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 I can see that uh, uh, this family is a, is a, is a very good family, and we, I, 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 I hope will work very well. Um, this is my first meeting, and I enjoyed it. Um, I was learning a lot. But uh, thank you for the uh, good welcome. And um, uh, I, I hope in the next meeting, I'll have catch up uh, some of the things uh, yes. in, the, yes. in, the, in, the, in the in the in the in the in the committee by and large. But uh, I think all the members, uh, uh, their contribution, I've listened uh, carefully, and I think we will work together. I am to take this country forward. Thank you very much, and the department. Thank you very much, Honorable Chair. Thank you, thank you, um, oh, Honorable Zone. Yes, Honorable Chairperson. Member. Yes, I would yes, also Honorable. like to welcome our new member from the Democratic Alliance side. Um, just to also bring you to order, Chairperson, um, to say that some political parties with us, our federal conference only starts tomorrow. Um, where, the, where the leader of the DA will be voted in um, to put you um, on your back foot as from now on. So, uh, yes, as from next week, <laughs> guys, we've got <laughs> trouble. Mr. Stiena is it? <laughs> not going to make it easy for you. Uh, no, no, we want to Bali. Sure. Che, che, on a point of so order, Chair. Between, no, I'm che, saying... On a point I'm of so, order. Chairperson, che, on a point, I, of, I, order, point che. of order, I'm just saying we... Uh, we want to Bali. I, I cannot talk after Monday. I can talk of today. <laughs> today, the, the current leader today is Mr. Stienhuisen. And as I and say... Yeah. Uh, Chairperson, as I say, we are a democratic party. Whoever gets chosen will be the leader, and we fall in as one. Okay. We're not, we're not divided. We're not divided as other parties, Chairperson. So, <laughs> so as the United Front, you are wishing Alliance, you well. Wishing you well, honourable member. Thank you, member. Chairperson. I hope you all have a super weekend, and see you again yes. next week. Thank okay. you, Chair. Well, you thank you, you for your as well. <laughs> bye, we'll have a then. super congress. Thank bye, you. Bye. Bye. bye.